You don't have to use the Pipe Dream CLI tool to publish custom code steps as actions in your Pipe Dream account. I'm going to show you quickly how you can do this directly from the workflow builder without installing the Pipe Dream CLI tool and configuring it. This allows you to create code steps that you write once and then reuse many times. All right, so here I have an example workflow that's triggered by an HTTP request. And a common operation I do when I create workflows is format dates. So here's a quick code step that accepts two props. One is a date string. So I'm going to use my events. I'm going to search for the timestamp on the event. And underneath is the format. This is the end format I want the date to be formatted as. I'm using the date FNS NPM library, and I've included a link to the format reference docs. So it's easy for me to open this up and remember what the format looks like. But off the top of my head, I remember that lowercase dd is the day, capital MM is the month, and capital Y is the year. So I can run test, and this code step will automatically apply the format to the date that I provided. So the date is the 19th of October, 2022. Across my workflows, I find myself having to format dates quite a bit. And I'd rather not have to copy and paste this code again and again or rewrite it again and again. So instead, let's publish it from our account using this publish to my actions drop down in the top right of the code step. You can see here that it's disabled. We need to include four fields in order for this code step to be publishable. All we need to do is, is create a name for it. We need to create a version. We need to create a unique key, and we need to specify the type of this component is an action. So the name, we're going to call it date formatter or format date. The version will be the very, very first version. So in Simver, we, we call it the 0.0.1, uh, 0, 0 .0 and the key will be a unique key that is not used by any other components in your own private account or in the public registry. So for that reason, I would I would encourage you to namespace it. So I'll just call myself Pierce and I'll put in format date, just in case there's another component in the public registry that's called format date. We don't wanna collide and get a weird error. So then we will test this once again to, to update the code step. After we test or use the refresh fields button to refresh the fields on the component, then we'll be able to see the publish to my actions option is enabled because we satisfied the four keys that are required. Don't forget the name, the version, the key, and the type of an action. Once we have these fulfilled, this will be enabled and we can click it here. Now we can see that the step was saved as version 1.1 of my step. Now I can go to my workflows and create a new workflow and rather than having to copy and paste the code or rewrite it, I can just add a new step, go to the My Actions category, and then the format date will appear as an action. It's the same exact props from the last code step, just now as an action.